So you can see, good evening, I'm Eliana Sheriff. So I sit at the desk and this is the prompter and we're gonna do it live. <laughs> Okay, so I made this TikTok. Three things you didn't know about working in TV news. No, we don't have a hair and makeup person. And no, we don't just come in here and do it live and read and that's it. No, most of us don't have a cameraman. And it got a lot of views. It's over like 180,000 right now. So I thought that I would make a more expanded version of this TikTok in this video. So this video is a little bit different today. A lot of you guys ask me in my videos if I work for Starlink and surprise, I don't. I'm actually a TV news anchor and I wanted to make this video. I've been wanting to make it for a while to tell you guys some common misconceptions and maybe some myths about TV news that you don't know about. I've been in the industry for seven years now, so I've learned a lot along the way. So some of the biggest misconceptions about news, where do we start? There's so many of them. Number one, I think a lot of people don't realize that we don't have a cameraman. So I'll show up to a story and I often get the comment, oh, where's your cameraman? You're looking at her. A lot of us in smaller markets or mid-sized markets don't have a cameraman. So yes, we are out there carrying the camera, carrying the tripod, shooting our stories, editing them ourselves, and we produce the whole story from start to finish. So that's something that I feel like a lot of people don't understand and hopefully earns us a little bit more respect for all of the work that goes into our stories every single day. Another thing that a lot of people don't realize about TV news is that we don't have hair and makeup people. Even in pretty large TV news markets, they still don't have hair and makeup people. So I have some oh, lovely comments on some of my videos about my makeup. Yeah, some of them are actually not so lovely, but I wanted to bring this up because we don't have anyone doing our hair and makeup. And that's also the reason why in some of my videos, I have so much makeup on. It's because I'm on the news. And so I get home and I wanna make content for you guys to see about Starlink and that, that's when those paths cross and I wear a little bit more makeup than maybe I would on a weekend. Another thing a lot of people ask me is, do you have to go to college to be in news? Yes, you have to have a college degree. I got my degree in English. Some people here have gotten their degree in communications or they've gone to journalism school, but yeah, you have to have a college degree. You do definitely go to college to become a journalist. We know how to read and write. One of the other things, and let's play this famous clip. Some of you guys might recognize this one. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. So yeah, this whole saying of doing it live. No, we don't just come in and get our scripts handed to us and read the show and then ah, see you later for the day. We actually have a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, even as news anchors. We're not in the field all the time as much as the reporters, but we still have to do a lot of work behind the scenes, editing scripts, putting together promos, putting together teases, going to breaking news if it does happen in between the shows. There's a lot of stuff to juggle throughout the day and a lot of deadlines that you have to meet. So it's definitely a very fast paced career, but one of the things that I love about the job, and I think it's important to know this, there's something different every single day. I don't even know how many stories I've covered in my seven plus years of being in TV news, but I've met so many amazing people along the way. I've learned so many things about just topics I would have never maybe even encountered before my job. And that's one of the things too that can be hard is you are working under a tight deadline. It's not like you have an entire day. We're talking about like a couple hours to put together a story for your deadline and go live and be sort of a mini expert in whatever topic it is that you are covering for the day. So it's really important to be able to digest a lot of information really quickly and then be able to take that information and turn it around and explain it in a way that's easy for the viewer to listen to and to understand. <sighs> it takes a lot of work, but you get used to it over time. And I know a lot of you are probably wondering this question, it might be a burning question, you're on TV, so you must make a lot of money. Well, in these smaller markets and even mid-sized markets, 
You don't get paid as much as maybe you would think just because you're on TV, but it is a career where you can stay working your way up the ladder and eventually make a pretty good salary. And depending on what shift you work in news, your hours might be kind of weird. For example, I'm on the night side shift, so I get in at 2.30 in the afternoon and I don't leave until 11.30 after our 11 o'clock show. So if you're a night owl, yay, this job is for you. But there's also the flip side of that. We have our morning crew. They get in at about 2.30 in the morning. But the plus side of that, they get off around noon. They have the whole day in front of them but it can be hard to go to bed at, I don't know, six at night when it's still light out. So there's definitely some odd shifts that you can work. Most of our reporters work day side, so they have that pretty, pretty normal nine to five-ish time slot. But definitely if you're in TV news, the, the news is all day and there's, there's the morning show, there's the late news, and so someone's gotta fill those hours. So the hours can be a little different than most jobs, but for some people that works out really well. One of the things that I love the most about the nightside schedule is I have my whole morning. I can go on a bike ride, I can go to the gym, I can go to the grocery store, I can go to that doctor's appointment, and I still have time to get ready for work. So it, it allows you to be really productive and front load your day and have a lot of time to do those things, but you have to stay a little bit later, but it's pretty fun doing the news at night. And I know I'll probably get these questions in the comments. So what's my craziest or maybe most memorable blooper? Well, here's one. This was a hot pepper challenge. This tastes mm. kind of like a- Live? Green pepper. On TV? Mm. Bad idea. My heart, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mine's it's not that bad. Mine's hot, but- well, This is hot. <laughs> but not, <laughs> but... not the hottest pepper. <sighs> I've ever had. Okay. Is your face turning red? Are you sweating? I'm sweating. Is your nose running? Not yet. Oh my gosh, my tongue is on fire. <laughs> and also, people ask me, what's my favorite story? You guys, that is such, such a hard question. I've covered so many amazing stories, but here's a couple clips of some of my favorites. You can hear the bikes are getting pretty loud behind me, and that's because traffic is picking up as more riders are trickling in. Keep it here, you're watching The Six, only on Black Hills Fox News. Well, as you can see, people wait in line for hours and they only have seconds to impress. In fact, they're all trying to get one of these golden tickets. Definitely some experienced eclipse chasers out here in Salem. In fact, I met a couple from Shanghai. They tell me this is their seventh time witnessing the phenomenon. Well, I hope that you learned something new about the world of TV news. If you learned something new, please comment below and let me know what it is. I love reading your comments. I read pretty much every single one and I try to get back to you guys, so I really love interacting with you. Again, I know that this video is a little bit, you know, it's not Starlink, obviously, but I wanted to just tell you guys a little bit more about what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and I thought you might find it interesting. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.